what I'm going to talk about is going to change some of your lives, the way you look at yourself and the way you look at the world around you. The subject matter is not the kind of matter to get from ordinary sources or books. All of the artificial structures and artificiality of all societies, they are all primitive today. They are all backward. The very fact that we use political systems, the very fact that there are Democrats and Republicans and notions about how the world ought to be governed. Now, the question then is, what kind of world do we want? How is it that we want our social system to operate? And if you want a world without war, without hatred, without crime, and without stupidity, it can be arranged if you follow this bit. If we consider at some time, which society will at a later time, I hope it will be sooner, that all of the earth become the common heritage of all nations. All of the resource of the earth, the common heritage of all nations. And if you believe in God, if you understand the teachings of all religions, there are no property lines in heaven, no banks, no personal positions in which one person is elevated above another. That if the earth were the common heritage of all nations and all of the artificial boundaries removed that separate people, there would be no basis for war, no basis for armament. The world you live in is an old world. Its language is old. Its values are old. And our institutions of education fail to touch the social system. You want to be careful. Don't touch that. This is an area that you don't want to get involved in. Well, in order for you to grow, in order for you to make the world a better place, you have to face this situation. I don't say that people are going to sit back and do that. According to all historical records, no civilization, anyway, to my knowledge, has ever sit back to plan the future. Exactly what we're going to do, how we're going to live, how we're going to work out transportation. No. So you elect people to political office that are totally incompetent, they are neurally bankrupt. I don't care whether you're Democrat or Republican. They don't have the value system to solve these problems that exist. They are not educated in that way. They are brought up with a uniform set of values. And they go out into the world, and this is a sad story of coming events. There are computers today, there are machines in existence today that can handle 500 trillion bits of information per second. No human comes anywhere near that. And you think that in the next 15 or 20 years there's going to be people in government? No way. For example, if you took a group of computers and arranged them in a special fashion and ran the electrical tentacles out to the agricultural belt with probes into the soil, when the water table dropped, that would turn on the pumps and bring the water into the area. If the nutrients changed, it would pump nutrients into the area. What kind of world do you want? I don't think any of you here, maybe a few of you, might remember when human beings used to operate elevators. They turned a crank, they never quite got to the floor, they up and down, finally they became automated. Step back, it's a lovely day today, how are you Mr. Jones, if they scan your face, and they'll take you exactly to that floor. After that comes a transveyor, an elevator that moves up and down, sideways, all directions. You get on it and verbalize, I want to go to the art center, music center, and it'll take you there. The shameful thing about our century is that there was only one Edison, one Louis Pasteur, one Nikolai Tesla, one Madame Curie. We should have had thousands of them, and we will, once we get rid of the artificial boundaries that separate people. Once we get rid of nationalism, patriotism, again, I do not mean to offend anybody. All that I ask you to do is think about this. Toss it around. This is what the Venus Project advocates. The Venus Project is a design for a culture in which we bridge the difference between all nations. How is that done? By a universal language, the blueprint.